Hello, this is Sophomore Astrology. My name is Sarah, and for this video, I'm going to talk about Chiron in Taurus, or also Chiron in the second house. Now, um, before I kind of dive into this specific placement, I kind of want to give a brief overview of Chiron. Chiron is your sole imprint of pain and suffering that is specific to you. It's just as specific as your fingerprint, you know, and this is what makes everyone human because everyone has a Chiron placement. Everyone has their own unhealable wounds and incurable trauma within themselves. And I also encourage you to not only just look at your placement in its sign or in the house, but to really understand um, the full weight of what Chiron means. I have a video, Chiron in Astrology, where I just specifically just to talk about Chiron just by itself, you know, without, think, you know, relating to the signs or houses. And I say to look that up, look up resources, read books, because this placement here, Chiron is so deep and it kind of really under helps you to understand yourself at a soul level. If you really want to advance spiritually, I feel like Chiron will really let you know why you came here and what you need to heal you know, and what you need to focus. And it might not be in your specific sign and house that's on your natal chart too. So with that, I want to get into the video. Um, when we're talking about Chiron and Taurus or Chiron in the second house, you know, I kind of feel like this is um, the saying that comes into my head is like, what is it worth to gain the world but lose your soul? I very much feel like that's what this placement is. You know, I think about movies like Get Rich or Die Trying. I think of the movie like The Great Gatsby because I feel like um, people with this placement, they might equate their self-worth to things that um, are of the second house, like their assets, their money, their material gain, their movable possessions, you know, um, the things that are very physical, that are very quantifiable in this world. Um, because it's kind of like the soul feels confined. You know, we are a soul having a human experience. We are a spirit having a human experience. So honestly, this placement, someone is very uncomfortable with being in the physical human body. So there could be a lot of compensation to feel comfortable. But before I get into it, I don't want to discourage you because um, this specific pain and suffering is given spiritual gifts to heal this trauma in this soul wound right so as i'm explaining this i will also explain i don't want to lose you but i will also explain um ways to kind of heal and to come up from it and how it looks like too for someone who's dealing with this placement but yeah i feel like people with chiron and taurus in the second house it's like it feels like this never-ending embarrassment there's like shame and guilt and fear and it's all associated with like the human body, death, endings, and conclusions. Like It's like stuff like eating food is weird. Um, having sex it might be weird. Uh, having to shower, you know, going to the bathroom and taking care of your business on the toilet. Like these things seem very gross because it's almost like this is when the soul is first being um, incarnated into a physical human body. So the soul is uncomfortable. It's not, it's, uh, it doesn't feel like it, it, it can expand like it does maybe in other dimensions or in maybe in past lives, you know? Um, yeah. And it's like, there is, uh, the way that maybe the soul will try to compensate for this discomfort is either restricting those things they might you know restrict sex from themselves this might manifest as in eating disorders or something like that or it might be too much where they eat too much you know um or it might be where they have sex too much or they indulge in too much you know um I kind of feel like this is also like when it comes to money too they might restrict their money they might be very strict with how they use their money they might not even um allow themselves to really seek pleasures with the things that they earn, the income that they earn. Or on the other hand, it's just like they become so obsessed. Um, people with displacement can be very obsessed with acquiring the bag. You know, that's why I think about like Great Gatsby or, um, you know, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. I also think about the, the song, um, Cash Rule Everything Around Me Cream. Uh, get the money, dollar dollar bills, y'all. You know, that <laughs> that whole song. I really kind of feel like it's just like there's an obsession with thinking that your money, your assets are your worth, and that's just not true. Um, 
I definitely people with displacement really need to like understand that you are valuable and you are worthy. Um, that your value as a soul is not quantifiable. You know, I mean, I don't care if you have negative $100 in your account or if you have $10 million. Um, You are a soul. You are a human being. You matter. Um, you know, and I kind of feel like people with this placement might get lost in the sauce and forgetting that, oh, you know, now I'm in this human world. Let me be in this human body and be in this 3D world and just get all the things I need to be comfortable because I'm in, I'm, di- I'm uncomfortable in this body. So let me do all the physical things I need to do to make myself comfortable. And it's just like there needs to be like an understanding with yourself like, hey, you know, um, uh, I am worthy. I am valuable without these things. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, and all of that, you know, and I think the way to kind of heal from this is to really understand that like to be present in the moment, to find beauty in the moment. This is when you need to find beauty in the struggle as well, you know, um, to not just rush, rush, rush to achieve or to grab something or to get something or to earn something, but to really understand that like, hey, I'm broke right now, but there is beauty in this being broke, you know. I forget what song by J. Cole, if you know this song, comment below, but it's like some song where he talks about like he said, um being broke was better he thinks that being broke was better it's on the four hills drive i think that's how you name the album i can't think off the top of my head but that album you know where he had no features but got all this like accolades from it that album there's one song in there that talks about that and i say to kind of look that up i'll either probably put it in the, the comment below or something like that to look it up but that is definitely like the spirit of this like placement. So I say to like sharing is caring in that as you give more, you receive more. So don't, I think the thing is to kind of overcome that poverty consciousness and that uh, mentality of lack, that lack mentality, thinking that there's only so much of something when in fact the universe and the cosmos is always expanding. If anything, our resources are um, increasing if you're able to look in the right way, if you're able to kind of really be creative and really kind of like trust the universe that um, your needs will be taken care of if you really like have the work ethic and the faith to to go out and do the things you need to do in this world, right? Um, sharing is caring. I don't mean to just like give all away your possessions, give all your stuff away, not pay your bills and just give it to charity. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that like if you know that someone is in need of knowledge, you know, share it. You know, if you feel like someone is struggling or um, if you feel like someone is not like understanding how to obtain their resources, obtain income, to obtain those assets, like you will learn how to do that yourself and you will heal within yourself and understand your own value regardless of what income you have. And then once you kind of heal that within yourself, you might actually be able to help other people with that as well. And then as you help other people, uh, once you like, you're able to share your knowledge and all those other things that make you valuable, then it's like, as you help more people, you're just helping yourself and healing yourself that much more. So if you have this placement, um, let me know. Um, and let me know your, if you have questions, comments, any thoughts about this at all. Um, I would love to hear them and I hope you enjoyed this and you have a good rest of your day.